So in now for Colorado, Hunter Goodman. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. To short, could be two. Quickly to second for one. And that's two. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice speed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn. And they're out of this jam. Bottom of the eighth. Stepping in for San Diego, Luis Campusano. The pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Tied at four. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Two. And a big swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Sizes this one up. Calls it in. And there's two away. The left fielder, number 10. Jurickson. Now batting Jurickson Profar. One for two. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Out to short. Detris. Tosses to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. This game's all tied at four. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Matsui. On for his 20th appearance of the year. And the batter will be the shortstop, Kyle Datris. One for three. And the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Down the line, and it's foul. The 0 1. And that one is lifted in the air. Ornelas settles under it. Makes the grab one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Not in time. He's got a double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. In the air to left center. Pulls it down and there's two gone. Now the second base Brandon Rogers. Now it's Brendan Rogers.
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front, looked into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure strike. Sean Bouchard, the next to hit. Now they're playing with the lead, and they still have a chance to add on to it. You have to stay aggressive in these at-bats. This to third, into the outfield, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Waste no time there. Just found a now way to slap that, that ball down the third baseline. That's no really way. excellent back control. Tom Cosgrove gets handed the rock out of the pen. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Nolan Shonwell getting ready to hit. Hard on the ground to first. He handles it himself. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 5-4 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Petco Park. And now the DH, Ethan Sellers. A new arm into the game, the righty, number 31. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Fought off foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. Bounce to the left side. And he beats the he throw. Made. He's safe. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. He stood no chance with the speed running down the line. And now it's Tirso Ornelas. Squares the bunt, but that rolls foul. With the winning run at the plate. And the home team trying to pull it out. Lays down a bunt to the right side. Good one. And he saved it first. Great hustle to win the foot race there. It always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. And now a crucial opportunity to tie up this game with another base hit. So a change being made at first base. On to pinch run, Jose Azokar. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. And fouled off. Nobody out. Both the tying and winning runs on base. Ball oh. one there. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Bows it off. Still one and two. And another ball. And that's Two awfully balls. close. I don't Two know balls. how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Okay. That misses, and it counts full. Hassan Kim to bat next. Crowd 
have locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is a big first out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout. And now, Ha Sung Kim. The shortstop takes the ball. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Goes to second. No. Save there. Hey. So now the injury forcing a substitution at second base. And here's the pinch runner, Brad Miller. Here's Machado. Golden opportunity right here. Be careful going and breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff. He's really good at hitting it. Machado out of the play. And it's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Little chopper rolls foul. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. The Padres down to their final strike. That one misses. One and the count is 1-2. That turns out to be a really good take right there. But you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Swings and misses. Struck them out. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road, you know that you've got some work to do. You've got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W. Final line score for our ballgame tonight.